choke me. I feel like death. Hello friends, Jarek here. I hope you are having a wonderful day. Oh my Jesus Christ. It is like, from what I'm checking from my clock right now, it's like 7, 12 in the morning. Oh my God. We have a long day ahead of us. I have no eyebrows and I look like a fucking mess. Okay. So, as you can see, I am so tired. So, what I'm going to do is swap out the screen. I am going to go wash my face, take a shower, wash my body, make sure I'm a little more freshened up for you, and I'm going to be right back. Just give me a few minutes. Alright friends, so it's about like 12, 19, 12, 20 right now. Um, girl, I needed to just take a seat for about four hours and relieve myself of some tension. You know what I mean? And I'm now officially ready. I am showered, I have washed my face, I am here, and I am here to try and slay today even though I honestly don't feel like it. But you know what? I'm here for the content. I'm giving you some fucking content. So this is for you. I was originally going to upload part two of the game face challenge, but after much consideration, I'm not canceling out the project. No, 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 no. I have got some serious good feedback from that game face challenge that it is just currently on hold i wanted to just do another get ready with me um just so then we can catch up to date with everything else that's happened i mean the last time that i had a get ready with me was back in november of 2019 or what somewhere around that period so just wanted to come cut back spend some time with you and be able to share with you what the hell has been going on with me with the covid 19 outbreak and the I have some new goodies that I do want to play with and I kind of have a gist of how I want my look to look like today. Um, I did my first video in a long time like way back in that same month of November. I did like a whole warm toned smoky eye with a really sharp wing eyeliner and a nude lip with a really nice face. So I actually want to go ahead and recreate that with you today. Without further ado, let's get started. So I'm going to go ahead and take this NYX Hydra Touch Primer. I, here, let me. I hope this camera angle works out well. I'm sorry guys, but I do not have any stands to hold up this cell phone whatsoever. So I'm making do with having this on top of a TV stand that I have in my room. So... I'm going to have to get myself a freaking stand today for my cell phone because my back's hurting. But I'm going to be using this NYX Hydra Touch Primer to start off with the skin today. This stuff is incredible. I've been using it for the past, you know, like few months ever since I bought it and it's really, really good. I love it. The only thing I don't like about it is the dropper because as it does soak up the product, you're trying to like stamp down, but it's not picking up as much product as you can clearly see here. I don't fucking like that. So what I have to do is I have to go in, squeeze out more. Sorry, I wish I could show you the bottle, but your boy, your boy can't. Your boy just can't. And then I gotta squirt in another. Squirt another. Yeah, and that's about six drops already, so I'm really good. So 
let me just go ahead and smother this shit all over my, my face. I love that primer, but God, it's slippery. At least it hydrates me though. All right, so now for my face, to start off this whole base of foundation, I'm going to go in with the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. This is actually a recent rebuy for me because I used to use it back then four years ago, but your boy had the wrong shade. Um, the color I chose is Sand Number no. 7, but your boy had tan last time, like a shade that was darker and the orange glare from that foundation was not pretty at all. We hated her and it's not good. Um, so I'm going to use now a brush that I've actually re-bought recently. It is the Royal Techniques 200 Expert Face Brush. I, if you've seen in my previous videos, I use this foundation brush many times. I think it's, yeah, within all of my videos, but that brush I did recently throw away because she was fraying at the bristles and as I, you know, as I had used it with a lot of continued washes, it started to feel very uncomfortable for my skin. So we were not, we were not down for that. Mm -mm, no, we said fuck it. And then I'm going to squirt two pumps. Ooh. I forgot how thick this foundation is. Holy shit. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I'm just going to kind of put it in there. So using that, we're just going to bump into it a little bit. Right, and while I still look like a clown and the product is settling, let's go ahead and blend it with this face. You know guys, I have not been putting on makeup at all since March. I mean, honestly, I had no reason to. You know, the world was practically fucking ending. Woe is me. And I didn't want to do anything. Wow, my skin looks shiny as fuck. Okay. That's okay, though. We're gonna be using a lot of stuff today. Mm. Damn, she's gleaming. Oh, yes. Damn, I missed this face. And it's actually a perfect foundation match. Holy shit. So this color, this color, the shade Sand, I assumed, because I actually bought my mom the same shade, and I thought it was hella, hella ashy for me. Well, not okay, not ashy. That's a really bad word to say. Um, no, I assumed that this would be too light for me, and I went for tan instead. But tan was far too orange on me and it looked absolutely freaking terrible so to actually buy this shade yeah it's good it's really 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 good i miss this formula so much i love it i love it when they released this i was so glad as shit i said yes so i'm gonna go in with one of my favorites for luxury. This is NARS. It's the Soft Matte Complete Concealer in the shade Ginger. And um, I actually bought a new brush for concealer as well. Where the hell is it? It is another brush from Real Techniques. This is um, the 210 Expert Concealer Brush. So we're gonna go ahead and use this too. This is my first time actually observing the brush. And I actually like the shape of it because what it is is like most concealer brushes, they have very pointed edges that are very, very slim. And you're able to place the concealer under the eye with absolute precision. But as you do blend out the concealer, it's not comfortable with those type of brushes. This one is a very nice, like fluffy, fluffy brush, but it is slightly dense at the same time. That way you get a more comfortable application as you are applying the concealer. So this I really like a lot. 
So I just warmed up the concealer with my ring finger and then I'm just gonna gently dab right under the eye. I'm gonna go ahead with another. You know, way back when, when I was a uh, living in Washington and I was living on my own I um oh girl I used to use the living crap out of this concealer just to highlight everywhere like under my eyes nose bridge forehead lip chin you know that way I have a nice highlighted look but girl times have changed times have changed I'm getting older like I'm now 23 years old and I don't I don't want such a complicated makeup routine anymore. I just want something like with, with ease. That's what I've noticed as I've gotten older. Like all the shit, all of the, all of the complicated steps that I used to really do in makeup that took a lot of time, I don't want to do anymore. Um, I even stopped bronzing and contouring for a brief moment because I found that to be too much time and I just did this, you know, a quick eye, a brow and a lip, that's it because I just work in my day job. It's a lot, and it's a lot of time. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and use the brush to blend out my concealer. This is kind of like my first impressions using it, so let's see how it goes. Oh yeah, this is good. The application is impeccable with this concealer brush, and on top of that, it just blends out the concealer into this beautiful airbrushed finish which is absolutely impeccable so i also bought a wet n wild contour brush i actually used the powder the powder brush from wet n wild which is a really big ass dome and i like this so i know the contour brush would be good but now i'm considering what the hell do i want to use contour today. So normally I contour with these two products. Um, this is the e.l.f. contour palette, um, shade medium to dark. And, um, oh shit, this bronze shade gets a lot of love. But the contour shade here is pretty okay, it's buildable. But then with this one, if I want more of a sharper contour, I go in with Matchsticks by Fenty in the shade Truffle. And I go ahead and carve out the living crap out of this jaw, this chin and just look shapely. Only thing that stops me from using this formula so much is that the formula is very stiff. It's not meant for my dry skin. So I had to go above and beyond to try and use it. Sorry guys, my nose is itchy for some odd reason. You know what I think I'm gonna try? I mean, since I have no plan, I have all the fucking time in the world. I think I'm gonna warm up the formula on the palm of my hand here. I'm just, just giving it a clear shot, guys. And then, when I do have enough product warmed up, I am going to take the brush, get my little Mac mirror over here, NC42 by the way, and I'm just gonna gently pick up the formula and then I'm going to stamp this under my cheek wow and then I'm just gonna blend that out completely Damn, this is the first time I've been chiseled in a long time, okay. Okay, so let's go ahead, where are we? Which brush do I wanna use? Okay, oldie but goodie. For powder contour, I'm gonna use the M438, and then I'm just gonna dab a bit of this. And then I'm just gonna stamp it over the contour, but I'm not going to go all the way in like I did with the cream contour. I'm just gonna 
just dabbed very little of it just toward the ear just so then like when I do look here like it's much more defined and much better sunlight like This time we're going into that bronze shade, the one that's so heavily loved. And we're just gonna slightly bronze up the skin. Just toward the high points of the cheek cheek. Oh shit, okay. So there's that. Now, there is a brightening powder right here with the e.l.f. So I'm actually gonna take my, where is it? My setting powder brush from Real Techniques, this lovely doodad, and I'm just gonna tap here a little, and I'm going to set my concealer. Okay, now my skin's looking a little more matte, um, but I don't want it too matte though. I don't want it too mad though. So I'm going to take that aforementioned powder brush from Wet n Wild, and I'm just going to take a bit of my MAC powder NC42, just a bit of it. And then I'm just going to set the forehead T-zone. And then I'm just gonna set under the places that I did contour as well. Now that's that. And here's the reason why I powdered in those places. So you see the little gleam right over here where I didn't set like just right here toward the highlighting area. And even though I did like a bit of the forehead, like you do kind of see a bit of that shine. Cause I want, I want my skin to look more like of a luminous matte. You know what I mean? Like I still want to be set and covered, but sister, I need to make sure my skin looks slightly glowy. So that's the face. And around this time, I would set with a facial mist, but I don't think I have one. Uh... Oh shit, you know what I do? Be right back. I forgot I bought this. So I remembered where I put it, but I'm gonna use the Glow Recipe Watermelon Facial Mist. This is such fire. I did use it in my game face challenge toward the end of the video and it made my skin set and it was a very nice soft dewy glow. On top of that, it smells good. Ooh, that fine ass mist that makes me moist. I, here we go. There we go. Whew. Okay, so now let me just double check everything. Face is absolutely sculpted, slightly dewy. Now we're going on to brows. With brows, it's mostly the same product and same method. I just use my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade in dark brown, and then I use my, where the freak is it? Um, M432 liner brush just to help sketch it out and do it. But today I'm feeling kind of skimpy, very skimpy. I want to do something absolutely kind of different, but still the same. Um, so I'm thinking, of course, of sketching out my brow how I normally do, but I want to experiment um, putting fine hairs into my brow. So I'm, I, I have it right here with me. I'm thinking of using a separate product for that for sure, but um, let me just go ahead and sketch out this end of the brow first to see how it so let me open up this little bad boy. Yeah. Okay. And then we're gonna go ahead and sketch out this brow. Okay. 
brows look like a sloppy ass mess. In the meantime, while I'm freaking about my brow, while I'm freaking out about my brow, let's go ahead and have a little chat about how Jared has been doing. So, as I previously mentioned before, I have been furloughed since March and you know, staying home seems like, you know, a wonderful dream, you know, absolutely good for you, but I miss going to work. I'm not going to lie to any of you. I absolutely miss going to work. I don't know exactly what the fuck happened with that, okay? Like I said, I missed hanging out with people. I miss talking. But this coronavirus has really stopped a lot of the economic opportunities that we've had. And it's been fucking with a lot of us. So I'm really looking to go back to work. Because I'm telling you, once I got furloughed around April, it was just really dark around that time. I was in a pretty depressive state. My anxiety attacks heightened because I was worried about having, you know, a, you know, having a roof over my head but not being able to pay my rent. Um, which I should have mentioned earlier in this video, I have moved. So I moved from Citrus Heights, or where I originally lived with my friends, um, now to Roseville um, because I needed to be much closer to my job. I don't have a car whatsoever. And it was just, you know, with all, with all that, you know, making a big move and then with this coronavirus happening, put a lot of mental strain on my mental health. So I had to kind of pull back a little from making videos and really come back to where I needed to be and I had to take care of myself first and now we're here today. Now I'm going to experiment doing this. I've never done this before so this is my first time applying brow hairs to my brow. Even though I normally do like the other brow, I'm just gonna try it. I'm going into my um, see here I'm going into my Pat McGrath subversive no it's not subversive it's subliminal mothership one and look at all these tones it's beautiful I'm gonna be taking the shades depth and extreme black a lot of depth but just a little bit of extreme black and then what I'm gonna do using powder I'm gonna try and see if I can create some brow hairs Oh my god. Okay, yeah, so that was an absolute fucking fail. I can't really use powder on myself. I'm gonna have to like get one of those like colored pens and then I could be able to do it, but not with powder. Mm -mm. So here, let's go ahead and finish the other side of the brow. And I'm actually gonna do that off camera because I'm pretty limited on my storage space on my phone. So I'll be right back. Okay, so we're in a completely different area of my room, um, much more closer to my face now, and as well as much more closer to lights. Um, as you see, I did contour a bit of my nose off camera, and then I did put in some airspun baking powder under the eyes, that way prepare for the eyes today. So now I'm going to be taking a recent buy that I like, Milani's eyeshadow primer. Yeah, I'm taking this and I'm just gonna deposit just a little bit on my eyes because holy crap, this stuff is very pigmented and I get terrified as crap when I use it. I'm just gonna take some from here to put it on here, just so then that little eye ain't lonely. I'm not gonna lie though, okay, so the last shot, I lost a bit of footage there because my phone stopped taking data for some odd reason. So I do apologize for the odd cut, but that's not me. I swear on life that's not me, but that is, that is my phone and it's freaking the fuck out. So I don't know how it's gonna look from here. 
but you know what? I'm dedicated to the content, so I'm going to find another way. So now I'm going into the Black Moon Cosmetics Orb of Light eyeshadow palette. As you see, it's got some serious love. I figured since coronavirus is fucking with all of us, we need to support our local businesses. So I've been using that eyeshadow palette ever since I bought it last year and it's freaking incredible for an all matte palette. Um, like I said, I am going to be recreating the look that I did for that first video back in November. So it's gonna be like mostly like the warm tones. You can already tell what they are. So we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna be taking the shade New right over here. It's this white beige color and I'm gonna put that all over the lid. So now I'm taking my Morphe M67 brush, this nice flat shader, and I'm gonna go right into Worm. It's that nice yellowy mustard, and I'm just taking a few packs of that shade, and I'm placing it just all over the lid, and going into the crease. I do forget to myself sometimes how pigmented these matte shades are. Um, Tina did an incredible job with this eyeshadow palette as her first, and I'm really looking forward to more Black Moon Cosmetics. All right, then I'm taking my fabulous M14 from Morphe, that really nice hairbrush here, and just slightly, I am going to blend out these harsh edges. All right, now I'm gonna take the shade Harvest. It's gonna be that beautiful orange shade. And taking that on my Morphe M506, I'm just gonna use that specifically toward the crease. Just right over here. Well, actually I'm gonna put it a bit on the lid, but at the same time, specifically focusing toward the crease. So then there is gradients. Oh, also what's happened is that, you see this little thing that's happened right now? So I dyed this back in February. Back in February, we decided to go ahead, make the decision to dye some hair. So my hair clearly is not like a deep, super deep dark brown anymore. I just wanted to have frosted tips. So the people that I work with, as I am a receptionist um, in a salon, um, we combined, I think, two colors from Matrix. It's like a 10A and 10V. And we got like this wonderful silver and it was very, very bright, very, um, very stark in comparison to what I had. Um, it's, as you see, it has faded out because I have been washing my hair in warm water. Um, only cause I wanted the color to die down a little bit and kind of become like a grayish grayish color and it works. Also recently got a haircut too, my first quarantine cut. Um, oh my God, wonderful blend, wonderful edge. Um, I needed to because my hair was just growing out and the thing is with Asian hair, when you grow out all that Asian hair, it just gets so thick and straight that it becomes unstylable. So I, Shaved off the sides, did like a little blend here, and then left some at the top. That way I can do something fun with it. So, um, as you see, I'm kind of a late bird when it comes to shit like this, but that's all in the process of anxiety. So now I'm gonna use this um, Real Techniques base shadow brush, and you kind of see like the little top right over here has a really nice fluffy, fluffy top. I actually am gonna use that specifically, taking a bit more of Harvest. I'm just gonna buff it through the crease. That way it does um, go past my eye and it makes my eye look much, much, much bigger. So we're starting to already lose 
worm from earlier, so I'm actually gonna take my M514 again, and I'm just picking up a bit of worm, just a bit of it, and I'm just gonna buff that right back in. Okay, so I just came back from eating and probably adding a few more blood sugars into my heart and lessening my age limit to live. Got a cream cheese bagel and drink lemonade. Going back into the palette, I'm now going to grab blood. Blood is gonna be that really sick ass red. And I'm taking my M124, this really nice precision shader brush. And just taking a few taps, I'm going to go ahead and put this all over my lid. Um, so what I'm gonna do next, and I'm gonna do it off camera because I'm losing a lot of um, film storage. I am gonna go ahead and do the same that you did see right here, because look at that blend, sis. I am gonna do the same up here to the lower lash line, and then I'm gonna do eyeliner, and then I'm gonna put on mascara, and that should be the end of my eyes. I will definitely come back to you later on, and we're gonna finish up the rest of the face together, get on a good lip, fix my hair, and then I should be out the door. All right, so liner and mascara is absolutely done. Layered like four different mascaras to get this motherfucker. <sighs> but then this happens. A moment of silence, please. Thank you. So now I am going to add blush highlighter everywhere, a lip, and then I'm bouncing. So I'm going actually into Harvest because that is what I used last time as blush actually. It was a very flattering blush. I only used like a very sheer amount and just right here on the cheeks. I'm using a God scent never ever fails me. I'm now taking my Precious Petals Wet n Wild Highlighter. It's destroyed as hell, but I use it so much. I'm reaching pan as you see. I'm using the 510, infamous 510 from Morphe to apply that Wet n Wild Highlighter. Let's go ahead and bling up. Okay, so I'm gonna be using Smudge Brush from, uh, <laughs> from Real Techniques. I am going to use her to dip into that Wet n Wild highlighter, and I'm actually gonna use that just to highlight my inner corner just a little bit. I want precision. Just a little bit, like that. Okay, crisis averted, the mascara mark is gone, thank God. So let's finally finish up with lips. Normally I did like, I did um, Lime Crime Lip Liner with Minx and then I finished off with Celebrity Skin Liquid Lipstick by JSC, Jeffree Star Cosmetics, but I feel like switching it up today. Like it's, I'm still gonna use the same JSC Liquid Lipstick, but I wanna add a few extra things on top along with something I bought recently. So for the lip liner this time, I'm actually using what's left of my Kylie Malibu Lip Liner to outline my lips. You know, with that lip liner, I haven't used any Kylie Cos other Kylie Cosmetic products. Like I bought Dulce K and I bought Court K and I bought the whole Malibu kit and the Kai palette, even the first one, way back in 2016, but I genuinely wasn't impressed by her formula, so I just gave all of it away. And um, I don't know, that lip liner is the only thing I have left of it and I just wear it out because I'm like, oh, it's a, it's a cute color, it's okay. 
So I've already shaken her up, but now here comes Celebrity Skin Liquid Lipstick by Jeffree Star Cosmetics. I'm dead ass holding the lipstick tube with my toes and making sure I don't drop anything. And you know, I was gonna put a full coat over, but this is actually hella cute. So we're just gonna blend that out. Let that dry for a little bit. This is a true fucking nude. All right, so since Jeffrey's starting to uh, cool off a little bit, I am going to finish up finally with the NYX Butter Gloss and Praline. I just bought this a few days ago, and my mom swears by this butter by this butter gloss formula. I think her favorite shade's Angel Food Cake. It's like a lighter pink, and you know I tried it of course one time, and I freaking loved it really good gel based formula so I got some colors of my own are you proud of me mommy let's go ahead and put this on yes god Ooh. okay yes this is an absolute nude combo for those who have tan neutral undertones like myself, or if you're also like medium skin tone, this could be for you. I don't know. It's up to you. You're the consumer. So let me go ahead. Since I'm finished, I'm going to do my hair. I'm going to put on some earrings and call it a day. See you guys real soon. Okay. So I am in a completely different room. That way you can see the final setup. This, not exactly a close match of what I did last time, but still a slight look. It's time for me to get going. I'm gonna take you along in this little journey of mine. Um, I just need to go somewhere where they have shavers and shower rugs. So let's get going. Okay, so I'm in Target right now, and I got like a few things, but there's like a few important things that I really, really got. I know I'm not having like really good shots here, but I'm just gonna say it like this. Um, I got myself like some crazy shit. I got myself a tripod, and then I also got myself a freaking working camera. I brought myself the what? Canon Power... What's it called again? I need to see this. Yeah. Canon Power Shot. Because here's the deal. And I'm being really, really honest and down to earth when I say this. With all the work that I do on my, on my phone, my phone is now starting to become unreliable to record videos. So yeah, like earlier today, and it started pissing me off. Um, I was having a freak out because I couldn't, I couldn't record as much as I used to until like the maximum time limit got reached. I, I, I'm not familiar with technology, but it made me pissed. So uh, I, I believe at this point I can no longer record on my phone, and I need to start taking the next step. To commit myself to YouTube. So, uh, looks like in the future, guys, you're gonna be seeing a lot more of me, but at a much better quality, and that I could feel more confident in recording my material. But, uh, other than that, and besides that, I got like a shower rug, and I'm probably gonna get myself a few snacks because your boy loves potato chips. <gasps> love of my life absolute love of my life but anyways I'm gonna continue shopping guys um, and then I'll get back to you by the end of the night so now we're reaching toward the end of the night now friends it is now about 12 20 ish in the morning I actually 
did a big, big break and had a lot of food in my stomach, stomach, stomach. That way I can just not be hungry, which is never, never possible. Um, otherwise, I wanted to just give a little quick nightcap just regarding today and everything that I talked about with you. Um, that's at least the most up to date that I have been with you guys in a while. Um, I really did enjoy today's today's video. Um, I really hope you enjoyed me as your company and being a eccentric, socially awkward person such as myself. I only hope that I gave joy into your lives and that I made you feel like fuzzy unicorn gummies. I don't know. But um, some of the stuff that I bought from the other day, some of the makeup that I bought from the other day are actually really big wins. Um, so for example, this one right over here. This one, Butter Gloss. Mommy, you have incredible taste. Um, I wiped off like the lip liner and the lipstick just wearing the gloss. Oh my God. Oh my God. This gloss stayed on all freaking day and it did not bleed my lips. That is the type of gloss I'm looking for when it comes to my wrinkly ass lips. Normally, I love using my Lime Crime Wet Cherry Glosses. I know I'm a big Lime Crime fanatic, but these ones are a really good and expensive option. So we're going to focus on this for Jarek's life. Um, what else? Um, the eye primer um, from Milani. She's a keeper. She's a keeper. She really held on to the pigment very well, and I'm going to experiment with her a lot in the future. Now... This Milani foundation, however, is another story. So I remember telling you all that I did buy this foundation about four years ago. However, I guess with my current makeup routine, it's changed up because, um, and I should have mentioned this earlier to you, as I was applying my eyeliner, I would directly press my hand onto my face with foundation on to apply my eyeliner and there would be no transfer. With the Milani foundation, as much as I have set my face, there was indeed some serious transfer. Um, I, I, I remember seeing like a few oil spots on my hand with some pigment and I knew damn well that was my foundation. So I, I don't know. I don't know if it's the, I don't know if it's the formulation itself or maybe it might be in regards to the oil-based um, NYX primer that I used, but kind of disappointed in it honestly but i th i think i don't want to say that too soon i should test out that theory or te or try and mix and match shit first before i start making you know a final a final gesture because i want to make sure my money's well spent um what else was what else was new contour brush contour brush i mean she got laid out fire okay she got laid out looking like a fucking ace of spades like, she came ready, and I like that. I like that a lot. Um, other than looking at my bed and my new camera, along with my new camcord, um, I think that's really it, honestly. Well, until then, thank you so much for being a part of this journey today with me. I do hope you have a wonderful day to yourself. You are always the first priority to yourself. You are always valid and you are always worthy. And that you will see another day. And you will have friends and family that will love you. All right. See you then on the next one. Bye, guys.